What's up everyone and welcome to the new custom catalog portal. In this video we'll show you how to take your custom artwork, save it to your portal account, and how to apply it to a catalog cover of your choosing. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to save any artwork, we'll need to go to our name and select My Profile from the drop down menu. Inside, under Image Collections, we'll select Edit and then Upload New Image. Now, before we select a logo, we'll want to make sure that it is the right size and format. The portal will accept PDF, JPEG, and TIFF files, but for the best printing results, it is recommended to use EPS files. All artwork uploaded should also be saved at a minimum of 250 dpi at a size of 5 inches by 2.5 inches. With that said, we'll browse for our logo. When we find it, we'll click open and then upload. We'll speed this part up for the video, but once it has finished, we'll check over the logo to make sure that it looks right. If the size of the artwork looks too small, such as this, we'll want to upload a bigger file. But our logo looks great, so we'll go ahead and click save. From here, we can upload more files, or exit our image collection by clicking OK. With the logo ready, we can select the cover we'd like to use by picking out a catalog in the drop down menu next to our name at the top of the portal. Here, we can scroll through a list of covers, each with a priced and non-priced version. Clicking Customize next to any of them will select that cover so we can continue and place our artwork onto it. In the left column, there is an area labeled Logo. This is where we can choose how we want to select our artwork for the catalog. If we choose to upload a logo right now, it'll be the same process as before, but anything we upload here will not be saved to our account. So we'll go ahead and choose to select a logo from my library. Now we have two ways to pick our artwork, through a drop down menu or the second through the gallery. Both options allow us to select a logo in our image collection, but the difference is the gallery will let us see the logo which we're picking. Next, in order to see a preview of the logo on the cover, we need to update the proof. Selecting this refreshes the PDF thumbnail below with our logo, and when we click Open PDF, this shows the cover with an example of what it will look like with the artwork. We want to look over the cover to make sure there are clean, crisp lines. If our logo looked something like this, we would want to upload a new, high-resolution file. Our logo looks pretty clean, so we can exit out of the PDF. From here, we can scroll down and enter in our order information. There's a minimum quantity of 32 catalogs needed to place an order. So that's what we'll enter into the text box. We'll check off that we approve our proof, and by clicking Add to Cart, we are taken to review our order. Here, we can change our quantity or remove an order altogether. Selecting Checkout will take us to Billing and Shipping, where we'll be able to finalize our order. With that, our order can be placed and sent off to be printed. We now also have a logo saved to our account for any future catalog orders. If there are any questions that may come up, you can contact catalogs at ssactiveware.com. So until next time, I'll catch you later.